Hi, everyone. Hi. Hope you're all having a really good summer. I know I'm having a good summer. Getting out, helping kids learning with you, right, Stanley? That's right. We're out helping people to learn. And today, we wanted to talk to you about what it might look like when you go back to school. Some people might be going back to school in three, four, five weeks. So there's something you can practice before you go back to school. Well, what's that? Well, what do we do every time we leave the house? Well, we have to wear a mask. That's right. We do have to wear a mask. And when you go back to school, you are probably going to have to wear a mask. So it's important to start practicing mask wearing now. Maybe when you go to the store, it's only for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, not much time in the store and not a lot of talking. No, you just go in, get what you need and go. But when you're at school, you might be there for four, five, six hours. So there's something you can practice at home every day to get ready to be in the classroom, talking to your teacher and talking to your friends. Okay, what can we do? All right, Stanley. Well, you have your mask. So let's help you get it on. Make sure that your mask covers your nose and your mouth. That's right. Ooh, Stanley, let's make sure that that's on tighter so that it doesn't fall off your nose. There we go. Get it up around your head. Now I can talk without it coming off of my nose and it covered my mouth. Do you know why it needs to cover your nose and your mouth? No, why? Because there's two little holes on your nose and one hole here where your mouth is. And what could come out of your nose and your mouth? Do you know? Germs! That's right. Germs. Germs can come out of your nose or out of your mouth, but they can also go the other way. They can go in your nose or in your mouth. So you want to make sure that you're protected. Okay, can you show them some of your masks? I will. So your teacher will also be wearing a mask in the classroom. So I have this one that covers my nose and my mouth. And I wear this to protect you. So you wear your mask to protect me, and I wear my mask to protect you. Now there's also some different kinds of masks. So this one is nice because it has strings I can hang it on my neck. But there's also the kind that go around your ears, like this one. So this one also covers my nose and my mouth. And I also have this one that has these little accordion pops to help fit my face better. Also covers my nose and my mouth. Now another thing you might see a teacher wearing is called a face shield. And here is a face shield. So look, you know it's still me, but I'm wearing this to protect my face. Especially if we have to be closer than six feet apart. Now, if you're closer than six feet apart, it's very important to wear it. And when you're on the playground, you might not be able to play on all the play equipment because lots of people will be touching the same things. But you can still talk to your friends, you could still run. There's lots of things you can do and some things that you can't do. Now, if you're taking speech or some other communication type class, your teacher might only wear the face shield for a short amount of time. But it's most important to not only wear a face shield, but also to wear your mask. So Stanley, do you think that you can wear your mask at school? 
Yes, I think so. Now, what are ways that we can practice getting ready? Well, we could practice wearing our mask at home. That's a good idea. Start out with just a little bit of time wearing your mask, maybe five minutes. Practice talking. It's going to make your face feel a little different. It's going to make your nose feel a little different. It might make your face where the mask touches your face, your skin feel a little bit different. It's good to get used to those feelings. Then what can you do? Well, if I wear it for five minutes at a time, and then the next day, maybe I can practice for longer. That's right. Every day, build up the amount of time that you can wear your mask. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20. Work your way up to 30. Try for an hour. And when you're at school, if you need a mask break, the best thing you can do is go outside where there's fresh air and then take your mask off. But should you take it off in the classroom? No, I don't think that would be a very good idea. It's not a good idea. If you're inside, keep your mask on. But if you go outside, especially if you're having your snack or lunchtime, and you're in the fresh air and you're six feet apart, it's okay to take off your mask. It's okay to tell your teacher, I need a mask break. And they hopefully will let you go outside so that you could take a mask break. But the important thing is to practice getting used to wearing your mask. Because if you're in the classroom, you might get frustrated. So practice at home and get frustrated there so it doesn't happen at school. Those are some great ideas, Danny. I think so too. Do you think we should practice, Stanley? Every day, every day we practice wearing our masks. And every day, it'll get a little bit easier. 